instead of saying, you know, I don't want to be rejected, I, I know this sounds kind of crazy, but I would say, I'm going to see if I can get 10 rejections this week. Or I'm going to see if, you know, my record, my, last week I got five rejections. I'm going to break that record, and this week I'm going to see if I can get six. So you're not looking at um, really um, something that's going to make you feel depressed or, or discouraged, which is the outcome. I got a letter from an, um, an editor when I, when I was trying to get my first book published. And uh, my book was nonfiction, and at the time, uh, I was not nationally known, and I don't think, I, I still don't think I'm nationally known. I, I'm better known. But, um, and so this was one of the major publishing companies. And she told me in a very nice letter, she says, um, I liked your book, but I want you to know that unless you have a following of at least 100,000 people, uh, I don't care what your name is, and I don't care what your book is about, and I don't care how well written it is. If you don't have that many followers, then we're not interested in publishing your book. Okay, well, all right, that's uh, very encouraging <laughs> to get. But um, so, you know, you have a lot of people um, that are going to reject your book, not because they don't like it, not because it's not good, but usually that happens because what you're doing doesn't fit what they need right then. So you have to realize there's so many people out there. Someone does need what you're doing. Uh, but to get to that person, you're going to have to go through a lot of rejection, if you want to call it rejection. So I would relabel it. Everything that causes discouragement or that has a negative connotation, I would give it another name. So if, instead of a re rejection letter, I would say, oh, look, I got a flower. Or, or something, I don't know, so, <laughs> something so you don't feel, uh, you know, so you're not being mentally bombarded with all this negative energy. Um, and I think, too, you're not putting pressure on yourself uh, because at the end of the day, when the day started and you sent out the, 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 uh, your query or your book proposal or whatever it was that you sent out, um, when you sent that out, you were okay. So at the end of the day, unless anything else ca catastrophic has happened, then nothing's really changed. Yeah, I, I had a, a time when I was in sales. I sold technology, so I worked for Cisco and AT&T and companies like that. So it was very competitive, and it was B2B, so I was selling in, in the corporate environment. So you get a lot of no's. And uh, I think I got conditioned from that because I understood that, you know, it's not personal. When people are saying no, it's, it's really not personal. It's, it's just what you're doing or what you're offering, we just don't need it right now.